The camera I'm talking about today is a Zeiss Icon and I presume you pronounce it Colora. See colour with an R at the end of it, Colora. And it's a camera that I would date to about 1963-64. And it's a time where Zeiss Icon and Fortlander have actually come together as a company. And when you compare the cameras with each other, they are incredibly similar. And they've basically some are based um, Fortlander and some are based um, Zeiss. This was a time of intense competition. Of, this was a time of intense competition from places like Japan and some really high quality cameras coming out. And I think Zeiss and Vortlander were trying to cut costs and the whole production seems to get a little bit less quality, but they are selling these cameras at a cheaper price. And what do we have on this camera? It's got a film in it, so I can't actually... It's got a film in it, but I have just used the film and I have checked I've found it. So if we open the back. Yeah. Right, so you put in the film manly from here to here. Make sure it's shut firmly. You wind on here. The shutter is here. You focus and we have the scale is interesting, it's in feet and meters here. So we have to guesstimate or use a little range finder which we could put on the top, but we normally guesstimate. We've only got three shutter speeds. We have a one two fifth, a sixtieth, a thirtieth, and a B, and we have manually setting the shutter um, the aperture two point eight to f22. So the lens is moderately fast. Um, it's a Novica lens. So this is a basic lens, but should get reasonable results. When you think of the golden days of the Zeiss Cont Contessa and other Zeiss cameras, this doesn't seem to compare. However, it's not a bad camera. It just hasn't quite got that feel of the others, but let's see if it produces a decent photograph. This is near the village of Tinkerton in Dorset, and it was a cloudy but bright sunny afternoon, and the camera is finding at the conditions fine. I did wonder if I slightly overexposed this film, and it's a tiny bit, um, I was going to say, grainy. It's fine. I also wondered if there was a slight problem with the lens, but looking at the camera, I think I slightly um, had it on a lower shutter speed than I thought at the time. This is an interesting wood. This is the old bypass. Well, I say old bypass. This is the old main road, which has now been bypassed. And you get, I remember this being a really big road with lorries and buses. And now it's a, almost like a deserted lane. But it's an interesting place to photograph. And this is just outside Pottertown. The camera is absolutely fine. As I said, I did have a slight issue with the film, but I think it could have been more to do with the developing from the camera. There's no exposure meter on this camera, so you are absolutely down to using um, Sunny 16 rule, or you could always use a light meter. I also had another issue with this film, that this, I am inclined to bulk buy film, and then I load it, and this was the last bit of film and I did have a slight issue with a scratch which I managed to get rid of in Photoshop. I try not to do too much in Photoshop because I want you as the viewer to see as much of the original image. You can see some of those scratches on this photograph though. Um, and again very slightly disappointing but it was the last bit of film in the container. So this camera as I said 
not the finest thing for a size icon, but it's usable and you can pick them up moderately cheaply. So thank you for watching and it's bye for me and hope to see you again soon. Bye.